Hey, this is Ella from Spline. In this quick tip, we are going to show you how you can easily incorporate a 3D design made in Spline into Figma. All right, let's get started. So here I have the design of a hamburger that we're going to use for this interaction. I have a group for each part of the hamburger, one for the bread, lettuce, meat, cheese, etc. This is what my burger looks like in its initial position, completely closed. And now we are going to create the second position where it opens after clicking on the burger. Let's start with the bread. I created a new state, and in this state, I'm going to adjust the position and I'm going to move it up just a little bit like this. Perfect. Now I will do the same thing with the bread at the bottom, but moving it down. And I'm going to apply the same idea to the other elements of the burger. So when we click on it, all of the different elements of the burger move. And let's have the cheese stay in the center. It can kind of be like the anchor of our scene. So let's not create a new state for it. All right, done. Let's put them back together in base state. Now let's group all of our elements together by selecting all of the layers and hitting control G. Now I'm going to rename this group to hamburger. We can create a new state with this group and adjust the rotation and position just a little bit. This is gonna give more of a dynamic final result. Now that we've created this new event, let's use the mouse down option so the animation is activated when we click on the hamburger or when we press it with our finger on mobile. In trigger, we can leave on this object selected. In action, we can click the plus icon and create a new transition. Since we are in the hamburger layer, by default, it shows us this layer in the target. But first, let's select bread up. Then in mode, select toggle. Here we can select the base state in the state. And now let's go to play mode to see what happens. Cool. Since we selected the bread up in target, this transition only affects this group or object. Now we simply have to apply the same to the other elements. And since I wanna keep the same action and speed for every single element, I can simply copy and then paste the transition and then just adjust the target to the correct element. So that is super easy. Don't repeat the process over and over again. Just copy and paste and change the target. All right, we are ready. Now, if I go to play mode, all of my elements will move at the same speed when I click on the hamburger. Let's do one more transition here. With the hamburger group selected as our target, let's set the mode to toggle, the same as we did before. I'm going to change ease and out to spring for a little bit more of a bounce in our transition. And by adding this, not only is this burger going to unfold, but it will also rotate a little bit, which is going to add this nice bounce, making everything a little more dynamic. Cool. Once you have your design ready in spline, you can adjust the position and zoom by creating a new camera or simply using a personal camera. And now we can go to the export panel, select the public URL option and click on play settings. Here I can select things like no logo so we can hide the spline logo. We can choose to hide the background color and we can choose to enable or disable other options like pan and zoom. Then we can update our public URL here and then go back to the overview and click on copy embed. Now let's go into Figma. Here I've created this Figma file and I've already designed the UI. And I created a rectangle where I want to embed my 3D design. I'm going to right click on this rectangle and let's go to plugins. Here we want to select Anima. This is the plugin that you must install and is going to help you integrate the interactive 3D into your prototypes. We'll leave it in the description below. Then select the embed code option. And then I'm going to paste that embed that we copied from Spline here. 
After adding the code, we can now click on save. And here you can see a preview. And we can adjust the zoom a bit here. And you'll see that we keep all of the interactivity and animation that I had added in Spline. Then you can click on sync and publish. You can see that there's a link icon here. So if you click on this, it's going to copy a link to your project so you can share it. And here in share, you can find other options to publish your design, a link with an animated subdomain or connect it with a custom domain. You can also export these scenes to SwiftUI to be used in production. Generate native apps for iOS, iPadOS, macOS, and VisionOS directly from Spline. Embed native 3D with a Swift code snippet or generate an Xcode project ready to be published in the App Store. If you want to learn more about this, check out the link we left in the description. All right, that is it for this video. In this video, we covered how you can embed your interactive 3D from Spline into your Figma prototypes using the plugin Anima. All right, see you in the next one, bye.